What is going on guys? So the insane one back here again bringing you guys another video. Today we're going to be doing another palming review and like I stated in my last video, I'm going to be bringing these things out as, as soon as possible um, and, and you know, share them with you guys as, as, I, uh, as I get these things coming in. Um, so let's get right into it, man. Um, so I got contacted by um, Edgar over at palmade.com, otherwise known as uh, Mr. Palmade. And uh, he sent me a few things to uh, review and check out. And, um, you know, he, uh, if you guys have not, you know, heard of palmade.com, um, I'm not too sure why you'd be using palmade um, because his site is one of the main sites that you would buy palmade from. And I have purchased stuff from there a few times and um, really good prices, good shipping, stuff like that. So be sure to check out palmade.com and uh, know, get all your palmade needs, in other words, from Mr. Palmade because he knows what he's doing. All right, so today we're going to be doing a review of a water soluble and today we're going to be doing a review of some stuff that I have never tried before. Um, well, I've been using it since he sent it to me, but prior to that I've never tried it before. Um, I've always wanted to get my hands on this stuff, but I never was able to because it was kind of pricey and, you know, I was kind of skeptical at first. But um, what it is is Grant's Golden Brand Pomade and this is the, what is it, Royal Hawaiian Scent Medium Blend. All right, and um, I don't know too much about Grant's, um, but so far use it, uh, from using it, I have um, really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I know it's made in the U.S., and I tried looking up some more stuff about them. I couldn't really find too much. Um, but as far as labeling goes, I really do like the aesthetic look of it. Really, um, you know, classy looking, really professionally made, and uh, sturdy. And if you guys see right there, got the Mr. Palmade sticker on it. Um, so let's get into it, man, and uh, test this stuff out. So I just got out of the shower. Hair's somewhat damp. I'm gonna wet it down a little bit more, um, just to get a little more pliability going on to it. Like I said in my last video, using a brilliantine cream. Now you can use any brilliantine cream you want if you like to do this. Um, you can use Brill Cream, Swap Seat, the brilliantine cream. Um, I know there's a few other things out there, but so far. I've liked the way this stuff has made my hair feel when putting it in and then putting in a water soluble after. It smells really good and gives a good shine. It just makes makes the hair really nice and uh, you know easy to work with in other words. So I'm just going to work this stuff into the hair a little bit and I don't use too much. I use um, about a quarter size worth. Just work into the hair. Brush it through. You guys can tell already. I mean, it's already made the hair very, um, you know, just able to work with um, malleable. I guess is that that's what I'm looking for. And there's no hold of the stuff, and you know, it makes the hair feel good. So, Grant's opening it up. We get a nice golden colored pomade, um, and the smell. This stuff smells really good, man. Um, Really uh, pineapple, pina colada kind of smell. I know a lot of pomades smell like that. That pineapple, coconut, like, you know, more warm kind of smells, I like to call them. Um, but this stuff really smells good because it's subtle. And it, um, you know, it reminds you of, of like a Hawaiian kind of thing. Like I can imagine wearing this stuff on a beach, you know, and, and the sun's out and stuff. So really good smell. It's a gold color pomade. Scooping it out. It feels really um, kind of light, but not too bad. It's really, I don't know, man. It feels it feels pretty different than a lot of water solubles, and it's kind of tacky, a little bit mushy. At the same time, like I said, um, this stuff is a medium holding pomade. So let's get it into the hands. I have used this stuff a few times, and I have liked it. And working it into the hands and emulsifying, it's very easy. Works into the hands really, really easy and breaks down. Alright, and going into the hair, same thing. Um, it feels kind of like a swab seat though going into your hair. Very easily goes into the hair. And it smells good. I can tell you from um, an experience using oh no various pomades, this stuff does feel a bit different than than other water solubles on the market, which is a good thing. All 
I'm just taking little amounts at a time. Just work it into the hair. I did get a haircut not too long ago. Um, I should have did a video as soon as I got my haircut because if you guys do not know, I am apprenticing over at Ollie's Barbershop. I'm over there three days a week and I love that shop. And, uh, they hooked, and Cam over there hooked me up with uh, one of the most badass haircuts I've ever gotten in my life. So I wish I uh, wish I did a review to show you that cut that he did. I mean, you can kind of see it pretty much what it is. It's a really low fade, um, contoured fade. Um, really 1930s kind of looking with a heavy, heavy transition into the blend. So I really dig that cut and I got a lot of compliments on it. So next time I'm going to go back and I'm going to get the same cut probably. Um, and uh, I'll try to do a review that day so you guys can check it out because it was a badass cut. So we're getting it in guys, you can you can feel that this stuff has hold, even though it says that it is a medium pomade. So I'm just grabbing little bits at a time, like I said guys. And just because my hair is very dense, I have a lot of hair to cover. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to wet my hands just a little bit and run it through the hair. Alright, today I'm going to be using a good old handmade Kent comb. I love these combs, they're really awesome. It's really just glide through the hair. If you guys have not checked out Kent combs, they are, they are top of the line combs. Combing through, no tug and pull whatsoever, man. It could be because of the comb as well, too. But this stuff, you know, feels really good in the hair. No tug and pull whatsoever. And it just feels good. It feels really professionally made. I know that kind of sounds weird, but, like, it's meant for, you know, a really good style. Really good styling. There you guys have it. I'm going to grab another comb here, a little finer teeth on it. And you guys have been asking me a lot what kind of combs and stuff do I use. Um, I use Kent combs and you know like this comb is just a comb from Sally's, just a, a cheap comb, no heat resistant comb that you know you can buy for like a dollar thirty or something like that. It's a real cheap comb, nothing special. And of course I always use Denon brushes. So. If you want a slick back, man, this stuff, as you can tell, is doing the job quite nice. Looks really good. And the shine's not too bad on it. Alright, man, so let's uh, make a part here. This stuff actually has pretty good hold for saying it's a medium based pomade, a medium hole pomade as you can, can tell. I mean, right away it's just slicking it down and I am using the finer side of the comb for that more tension just to get as much hair as possible pulling through. Alright, so let's pump up the front here. I've been styling my pump a little bit different lately, um, a little bit more height to it. Really got some inspiration from watching uh, some Scorm stuff online with how they style their pumps and uh, some pictures that I've seen lately. So far, man, I have been digging this pomade. I'll tell you that right now. 
and like I said, it, it was it is a bit pricey. I know that they have um, Grants has a few different um, blends of pomade. In other words, uh, they have their original, which I think is like 23, 25 bucks, and then they have this stuff. Um, I believe on pomade.com it's seventeen dollars for this particular one. So it's a bit pricey. I would like to get my hands on some of the original stuff just to check it out, but I mean. For this one, I don't think it's too badly priced. I mean, it's the same as, I guess, Layrite. Probably could have used a bit more on this side. Try to get them nice comb lines in the hair. I think that's what makes a good pop, man, is when you get those nice comb lines going as well with it. In my last video on the Rooster's Pomade uh, review, a lot of you guys asked uh, about my glasses. Um, it kind of made me laugh because I thought no one would really notice that kind of thing. But they are, for those of you who were wondering, they are the they are the club masters. And what they are is they're they're a sunglass frame and they're kind of like a newer version of the club masters. Um, and I got them by mistake, to be honest with you. The store that shipped them, that uh, that had them in stock, um, they were actually shipped to them by mistake, and they didn't know about it at the time when they were uh, selling them to me. So I kind of got a special ordered frame from them. So this stuff, um, like I said, it feels pretty good in the hair. I probably should add just a little bit more to the front as I feel like I have missed a little bit on this side, so that's what I'm going to do right now is add a little bit more to the front. If you guys do ever feel like you do need to do this, add a little bit more product, always, you know, take a little bit at a time. There's nothing wrong with using, you know, extra, extra grease in your hair to, you know, get the job done, especially when your hair is, like mine, thick and dense. guys so almost done here just making sure that we got everything nice and uniform you know don't want nothing looking too bad and like I said man I really want to get that cut again to show you guys because that cut was was awesome I always got getting a lot of compliments on my hair after I got that cut especially that cut I've never gotten that many compliments on my hair and believe me, I've, get, I've been getting, I get quite a bit compliments on my hair actually. And thankfully my hair is getting longer again because I did cut it. If you guys just noticed that one time I cut it pretty short. Thank God my hair grows back pretty fast. Yeah man, this stuff is uh I do like this stuff. 
there's a lot of water solubles out in the market, man. And, uh, you know, I favor, you know, quite a few. This stuff um, this is starting to crawl its way up there. What I like about it is, is it does have hold, but it's not like crazy, crazy hold, like, uh, you know, like, I don't know, like, you know, super hold or even like Suavecito or something like that. And what I like about it is it kind of accentuates my wave in my hair. And I think that wave in the hair, um, I used to not like it, but now being a barber and stuff, um, it's just really classy looking when you have a little bit of wave in your hair. And you know how to how to style it. And over the you know the time that I've been doing a pomp and doing reviews and stuff, I've really come to you know know my hair and know how to style it, especially in different ways. Just looking these sides out a little bit better, guys. Yeah. I really do like this stuff, man. It, uh, like I said, it accentuates that wave in my hair, um, and it feels really good. Drop my comb. Ugh. I hate when I do that, man. I drop my comb. I don't like to use it after I drop it. It's just me, though. Like I said, man, um, be sure to go on to pomades.com, or pomade.com, excuse me, and uh, check out, you know, his selection of pomades he has on there, because he has a really good selection of pomades, good prices, and, uh, you know, if you need something, I suggest checking that place out first. He does, like I said, has a good selection of pomades, and he gets a lot of newer pomades that just come out. I, I can tell he pays attention to that kind of stuff, like what new pomades come out on the market and stuff, and he, he gets his hands on it right away, and that's what I like about it. And so he supports, you know, up-and-coming pomades and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to call it for this one. Um, I'm just messing around with it now just to see what I can do with it. So yeah, there you guys have it. Nothing too insane, just a little bit uh, conservative kinda I guess. Um, like I said, that cut that, that Cam gave me looks really good. Um, I, I do blend it really short right here now, all the way around the head, and I contour it to my head shape. Well yeah guys, I should do it for this one, man. I really do like this stuff, and I would suggest trying it out. Like I said, I want to really um, try their their original hold because I'm pretty sure it has a little bit more hold than this. And the way this stuff already feels in the hair, being a medium blend, I'm pretty sure that that heavy stuff, um, their their original pond will do quite a bit of justice from a hair, justice from a hair. Excuse me. So yep, yeah, Grant's Golden Brand Pomade, awesome stuff so far, man. And you know. Thanks for watching again, guys, and be sure to, you know, like I said, check out um, pomade.com, and I'd like to give a big thanks to Mr. Pomade um, for sending me some stuff and hooking me up, um, because I really do, you know, need, you know, pomades to review and stuff. So, uh, you know, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, any social media stuff. Check out the band, and like always, guys, take it easy.